What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel and to another first look video. Something completely different today. This is my first time doing this. As you know, I don't edit, so any mistakes are going to be left in. <laughs> but today, we got something a bit different. We're going to be looking at the Ambernic RG556. So, let's get this thing open. And once it's open, I will tell you all about it. Let's get this out of the way. Also, do apologise for lighting. I needed to get this video out. And didn't have time to get a proper lighting rig set up. So, I do apologise, but it won't matter once the device is on and you see it. Right, so, charger in here. Charging cable. We don't get plugs anymore. Screen protector, screen wipes, blah, blah, blah. No one cares about that. Let's get on with it. So, it does come packaged quite well. This is Ambernick's newest device. and uh, So, joystick lights. Lights around the joystick. This does come in black as well. Uh, personally, I think it looks a bit... I don't know, it looks a bit tacky in black. Um, I mean, you can see there, it's got good heat pipe dissipation. Never had a problem with any overheating. I've had this about a month. Uh, yeah, right, so, specs guys, I mean, you can see, is gorgeous, and that is because this thing is running a 5.48 inch AMOLED screen, so it is AMOLED, which is why it's so nice. It's 1920 by 1080 as you can probably tell. Uh, rest of the specs, right, <clears throat> let's go around the physical things, right, so, Hall Effect joysticks, they are Switch style joysticks, which don't have a lot of travel, which I'm not personally a fan of, but they do the job, they're good enough. LBRB, triggers are also Hall Effect, so you don't have to worry about anything like that, you got your power button, your volume, you got your vent, down the bottom, you've got your micro SD card slot. I've got a 512 gig in there. You've got a headphone jack, which is a miracle to see these days, if I can actually get it on the damn camera. Uh, Type-C charging. <clears throat> also, Type-C video output. You've got a decent enough D-pad. Shiny, but it's decent enough. That button launches Ambernix front end. There's your home and back button. And over here, you've got your start select. A, B, X, Y. The buttons are nice. They work very, very well. I've got no complaints whatsoever. They are very nice. Right, so, inside this thing, we've got a Unisoc T820 Octa-Core CPU. So, we've got one A76 core at 2.7 GHz, three A76 cores at 2.3 GHz? Yeah, 2.3 GHz. And then there's four ASS cores at 2.1 gigahertz, so it's got plenty of power. I don't think I've put my new Wi-Fi password into this thing yet. <laughs> uh, the GPU is quad-core Mali G57, I believe. I'm pretty sure it is. I mean, even if you wanted to... No, I don't tell you. Damn thing on the box. Okay, fair enough. Right, whatever, so most of this is off top head. I do have a cheat sheet, but, you know. <laughs> the GPU's clocked at 850 megahertz, so enough power there to run stuff. You know, GameCube, PS2, Wii, uh, PS2, you got to make a couple of little sacrifices, but they still run pretty well, and I will show you some games in a little bit. It's got 8 gig of LP DDR4 RAM. Um, 128 gig of built-in storage, that's UFS 2.2. Um, it's got Wi-Fi 6, Bluetooth 5, the battery is a 5500 mAh LiPo, it's running Android 13, as I said you've got Hall Effect sticks and triggers which is good, uh, and your output is a 1080p display port, right anyway enough techno babble crap, let's get into what everybody came to see, so if I log, which I don't typically do, I use my own uh, first thing you're going to want to do when you get this, guys, is update your emulators because they are all uh, cracked Chinese versions. 
So you are going to want to update them. So um, get up. Right. Let's start off. Let's show you some games. This is what you came to see. Let's start with some name. I don't know how easy it's going to be for me to... Uh, Ah, the front end still in the switch configuration, which is annoying. It's an inconvenience, but it's fine. Yeah, we'll just... So, blah, 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 blah. On-screen controls will go off when you press these. Come on. Let's put a coin in. How do I put a coin in? Is it select? Yeah, select. Uh, drowning me out talking to you. And as you can see, MAME running fine. If you go into it, I'm not going to mess about with it too much because of these stupid gloves. But if you go into it, you can put scan lines on, stuff like that. And set it all to your personal preferences. It is pretty cool. But. That's MAME. There's thousands of games. Let's get on with it. One player a game. Now you see it's gone back to Xbox mode now. I've switched it and switched it back. Uh, we'll choose anybody. Don't really care. Uh, freaking hairs. Alright. Let's just try and kick some ass, eh? Look at that. Boom. Bada bing, bada boom, let's run and boot him in the face. Get out, you prick. Oh, really? Okay, okay. It's so hard to play with these gloves on, guys. It's, it's not even funny. Boom. Kicked his ass. Right. I was back out of the PS1s. Right, let's take you to what I know you want to see. We are running Ether SX2, latest update. Like I said, they are all cracked, so you know you gotta uh, do your own. Uh, let's get into Gran Turismo 4. And I'll tell you now, guys, this game looks amazing. It looks amazing on this device. Also, don't have a professional mic or anything plugged into my phone, so hope the audio is okay. I am just recording on my phone, so that's how we do. FPS counter in the top. Uh, see, with Gran Turismo, or with any PS2 game on this device, they stutter a little bit, and you got to tweak it to your own uh, preference. Which is not hard to do, but you can run it like a 2x, <clears throat> maybe a 1.5x resolution, and things will run pretty well. See a little bit of stutter there, see that? We're just going to go anything at the minute. Come on. Right, let's just get into the frigging game, Jesus. Right, so you see, we're at 60 now, we're doing okay. And now we've dropped. See, that's because the last game I was playing on PS2... How the frig do we change the camera? Last game I was playing on PS2... Uh, well, one that were not as um, demanding as Gran Turismo 4. Let me turn this up a bit for you. They're not as demanding as Gran Turismo 4, but when you play Gran Turismo 4, see where it is? It seems to be only when there's all the other cars on the screen. When they dip off, then your frame rates go back up to 60. But like I said, you can fix that. By lowering the resolution a little bit, using speed hacks, that kind of stuff, you know, so you can fix it, it's not like you can, it's just, um, I did obviously try out the Retroid Pocket 4 Pro, that also dips when there's cars on the screen, but in general, 
it keeps a nice 60 fps on ps2 games this one not quite as powerful with that unisoc so there is that but there's your ps2 all right we're not going to spend hours on each game because uh, i've got a feeling someone's going to knock at my door soon as well because i'm waiting for friggin uh, amazon so we're not going to spend ages on this guys uh yeah wherever but did i use firecast or did i use be dream i don't know let's find out All right, library, sorry guys, I've got an itch on my eyebrow. Controls as an Xbox controller, which is cool. So press start, quick start, point guard, wherever we're gonna go, because of course we are. Lakers, who are we gonna have? We gotta have Kobe. Uh, yeah, we'll take Robert Horry and we'll take Shaq. Oh, what the f Frig's going on. Have I pressed? Yeah, I did. I pressed fast forward like an idiot. I can't. I can't see properly what I'm doing for tripod either, guys. So uh... <laughs> give me a break, okay? Pass it, Shaq. No, oh, you little dick. All right, come on, come on. Get it back to Kobe. No. Sorry if you can't see it properly, guys. I can't properly see what I'm doing either. But as you can see, Dreamcast runs absolutely flawless. Absolutely flawless. So you can get a dunk. Boom, let's have it. Look at that. Get out of it. Straight through his legs. <laughs> Using the PPSSPP emulator. Why is it when I try and record a video or something, I always get an itch. Friggin' itch on my eyebrow. Uh, only got one game on here at the minute because I haven't added any more. This was just to test it out, see how it runs. Uh, God of War 2, games like that will be a little more demanding for it. But generally, I mean, you see, this game only ran at 30 FPS anyway. Obviously, the PSP didn't have a right stick, so I might as well stop trying to do that because that's just pointless. <laughs> So it does run this at full speed. It does run it very nicely. And you can turn the screen brightness up as well. I turned it down because I was playing it in the dark. And I'm not going to attempt to turn it up because these gloves are a pain. But I mean, you can see right there that's, that's running at its full 30 FPS, which the game originally ran at anyway. GTA Liberty City Stories So PSP you're not gonna have a problem with God of War 2 may need a bit of uh, tweaking But in general it runs PSP just fine. You've got everything. I mean it runs N64 just fine I mean only game I've got on there is W. Alright, can I remember how to play this game? I have no idea, I don't know who I am. I think I'm the rock. Come on, you prick. Yeah, I'm the rock. <laughs> I'm getting ganged up on. I'm getting ganged up on. Right, anyway, you can see, I'm not going to play that for the sake of getting my ass kicked just to show you. <laughs> but yeah, runs fine. Uh, you've got Game Boy Advance, Game Boy, you've got everything, guys. You've got absolutely everything. You can put it back in since I took the SD card out. But yeah, Nintendo DS, depends what game you want to run. Mario games, stuff like that, a lot of them run absolutely perfect. And then, it, because, you know, it depends on emulator. I mean, this has got enough power to run DS, but the emulators are not quite there. So, Citra is what I've found is the best. 
Uh, I'll show you a little bit of GameCube before we go. I mean, look, we drop down there. It's choppy. But then it goes back up. It's just when it zooms out on the uh, audience. But like I said, it's not necessarily the device, it's the emulator. This is a notoriously hard to run game on these emulators. But as you can see, once it's not zooming out on the crowd, it goes back up to 60, and this is at 2x resolution as well. So graphics look sweet. They look very, very sweet. Well, let's get into the game. I'll show you what it's like. In game, absolutely perfect. As you shall see. World Wrestling Entertainment. Come on. All right. So, as you can see, absolutely flawless in game. I don't know any of the controls, but yeah. Big ass, big show. See that camera view there sort of zoomed out to the crowd, so had a little bit of a hiccup, but nothing major. 100% playable, and if you drop this down, like I say, I've got it on 2x resolution, if you drop this down to 1.5x, it would be absolutely spot on. Which, I like the buff graphics, so... I keep it at this, the little stutters when it zooms out, don't bother me. But now Big Show is kicking our ass. You hear the fan kicking in a little bit there, that's because a GameCube is demanding. Uh, right, so, closing thoughts on the Ambernic RG556. Ah. It's awesome. Ergonomics are perfect. The screen size is beautiful. The screen's beautiful. But if you want pure power, you go for the Retroid Pocket 4 Pro. Retroid Pocket 4 Pro will run stuff a little bit better. But it's very uncomfortable to hold. It's got a smaller screen. You can get a grip for it, which makes it a lot more comfortable. It's personal preference, guys. You just go for whatever you want to go for. And I am going to have to quickly cut this off short because my memory card is about to be full. <laughs> so, let me know what you think in the comments below, guys. Would you pick one of these up yourself to play? I mean, it's awesome. I play a lot of it when I get time. It is awesome. It is a really good machine. I got my remote there. I mean, it's very well made. It's very well made. It's well put together. It's good speakers, good screen. It's a lot of fun. Let me know what you think in the comments below, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. I'll see you next time. Bye for now.